Well, hello everyone, this is the Shenaniganator, but this time we're actually gonna be talking more seriously. It's gonna be less goofing around and less, like, stupid commentary, and more me showing you how to do stuff in Sniper Elite 5. Now I'm gonna show you how to unlock all the guns, and we're starting off with Mission 1, which is kill the target with an explosive. Once you kill the target with an explosive, you unlock the MP40 for this mission. That is the only challenge. You can either kill him with a Panzerfaust, you can kill him with a landmine, like the car, you can kill him with a grenade. Right now I'm doing it with a grenade, but I've also done it with a Panzerfaust and a landmine. And initially I unlocked it with a landmine. So, anyways, I won't be saying much for the rest of this mission. So, enjoy. Wir suchen nach mindestens einem Scharfschützen. Granate kommt! Runter! Target neutralized. So long. Beckendorf. That's one less name on the kill list. We're in the couple of seconds of black screen there, that's an editing issue, I'm new to editing. Um, now for the second mission you will be unlocking the Carabiner 98K, basically a standard German bolt action rifle that each rifleman carried and you know, snipers and everything. Um, and on the completion of the mission you will be unlocking the Mark IV, but you know, you just need to finish the mission to unlock the Mark IV. But for the Car 98 the challenge is basically drop a chandelier on the target. Now. Sneak into the castle without getting detected, obviously, and he'll be in in this room. The room that, um, well, you know, I killed the officer there. I gotta go somewhere try, else. You know, try not to get detected. Once he's done, just uh, scope out with the binocular without getting caught which one it is. And you do not need to distract him. You do not need to start shooting him or anything. You can knock him out and, you know, put him under a chandelier and drop it then, but that's whatever he by himself will go inspect the box of wine right there right beneath the chandelier and that's when you press E and just drop the chandelier which you also do not need to shoot a lot of people were complaining including myself that oh oh this challenge like you do the challenge and it wouldn't it wouldn't give me the rifle uh that was that was an issue with uh the actual game they actually released a patch that fixed that so uh not to worry anymore Eine fantastische Idee. Na, wunderbar. Was machen wir mit dir, Becker? Got the drop on him. Now for this mission, um, basically the target himself, you need to kill him in hand-to-hand -hand combat, meaning stealth, you, you need to be stealthy basically, I, I fucked this part up big time, but um, you cannot you cannot just approach him in hand-to-hand -hand combat if, he's, if the indicator is red, if he's in combat, you cannot, so you need to be stealthy about it or distract him like I do in this mission. And that would unlock the pistol OA, basically the Luger. And on the completion of the mission, you will be unlocking the Gewehr 43. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just be stealthy and you know sneak up to sneak up from behind, if possible. Well, if possible, that's me mostly what you're gonna be doing. Ja, 
that's written off the list. One less officer for Kraken. Now for the fourth mission, what you will be doing is you need a rat bomb. There's three places where I know you can get them. One of them I forgot. One of them is at the beginning of the mission. And the third one is in the room we're currently at after you snipe the officer and get the key. Or decide to blow up the door with a satchel charge. I usually do not sit around and wait for him to actually find the rat and shoot it, but you can do that. In the past for me it's proven ineffective, um, but there is one thing you can do and it's just shoot the rat or knock him unconscious, put him next to the rat and shoot the rat and the rat bomb is right rat there. Bombs. I pick Straight it up out of the play as I go. I'll put it to good use. And once you have done that you will be on you will be unlocking the MP44 or the STG-44, whichever one you want to call it. Also, quick side note, yes, I do distract him with a bottle, and once he gets there, I shoot the rat. Now for the fifth mission, what you will be doing is uh, unlocking the Type 100 Japanese submachine gun and upon completion of the mission you will unlock the M1 carbine. Basically either use non-lethal bullets or if not, knock him out. Uh, like basically knock him the fuck out unconscious but don't actually kill your target. Once that's done, carry him all the way over to the concrete, kick the ledge, and then just throw him into the concrete. Like, there's a huge pit, just throw him down there. Once that's done, you know, challenge completed. And when you finish, of course, I'm one carbine, as mentioned previously. Cement mixers, still running. Should act as good sound cover. Balance down. Can cross him off the list. Figure now for mission number six, you will be unlocking the Model D with the kill challenge, and at the end, when you uh, upon completion of the mission, you will be unlocking the stun gun. Now. For this for this challenge, it's it's actually the easiest one. Just sneak into the building. You do not really need to kill anyone the way I did. Pardon pardon the video editing. There was a bit of lag there uh, when it was recorded. Now once um once you snuck into the building, just go quietly go into the kitchen. There's gonna be a gun on the table and some poison. Um, the gun's optional if you want to grab it or not, and grab the poison. Do not actually shoot the target or hit him unconscious or anything. Uh, he's behind a locked door, which also don't try to unlock. Basically, once you grab the poison, you put it inside the cup of whatever he was drinking, I forgot what it was, and you ring the doorbell, because technically he's supposed to be having a servant coming and bringing in his stuff, and you know, ringing the doorbell so he doesn't speak to the servant. Yes, they're, and apparently Germans were that arrogant. But, but then again, it's the officers, it's the upper class. Now, if you want to stay and look at him die, that's optional. I usually do to, to see if, uh, if, if he, he has a key, basically. So I usually stay for that and, you know, to loot stuff and whatnot. But if you want to continue with your mission, you don't really need to stay. And, and again, upon completion of the mission, stun gun. And I almost get caught right there. <laughs> but I do not get caught.
Troutman's dead. It's one less name on the list, and one less link in the Nazi chain of command. Now for this mission, you don't really need to be stealthy, but you do need to kill almost everyone else, except the, the actual target. Now the actual target, walk up to him, knock him unconscious, because trying to get him under that V2 rocket is actually pretty complicated. Yes, that's what you need to do. Knock him unconscious, throw him right, right beneath the V2 rocket. The one that uh, with the air tunnel and stuff. And just throw him right underneath. Run up at a safe distance and shoot one of the cranes holding the V2. Once it falls, it kills him and basically that's that's the entire challenge. You will be unlocking the uh, RSC 1918. Now for the final mission, you need to take out all the soldiers and stuff because they'll get in the way and take out the soldier that carries the key to the door where your target is. Uh, your target is a Japanese officer of a higher rank. You either kill him with the Type 100 submachine gun that you unlocked on, on the fifth mission on the challenge, or if not, uh, there's a pistol Type 14 pistol sitting right there. Just shoot him, shoot him in the head like I did, or just you know kill him with that pistol. And once you do, well, you unlock the final gun, and that's it. That's it. That's how you unlock all the guns. Anyway, so that's how you unlock all the guns in Sniper Elite 5. Uh, they fixed the issues and everything, and. Uh, like and subscribe, you know, leave a comment, and I can do more Sniper Elite 5 if people genuinely like this content. Uh, anyways, th th this it, it was pretty fun making, so thank you very much.